Yeah, hello guys and girls and all the other people out there in this world. My name is Raslan and I'm about to make my first English speaking YouTube video. What is what which I have I haven't done before in my life, so I'm sorry if I can't speak like properly English and if I make a lot a lot of grammatical uh, mistakes. But I hope you're gonna see through these mistakes and maybe just listen to the message I have or to the video in general. So I know like nobody is about to see this video and this is quite cool for me because it gives me like the confidence to learn how to speak in front of the camera and it also gives me the chance to make some kind of experiments to learn how to cut videos, how to make thumbnails, what is important in, on YouTube to be found and all this kind of stuff so it's, it's quite interesting for me and yeah I'm sorry like for my bad hair uh, like for my own defend we have right now I think like it like in many parts of this world we have lockdown in Berlin so I can't go to the haircut unfortunately and believe it or not I tried my best to do my hair but it still looks terrible so yeah what should i do so like you ask yourself like who like who is this guy wh why why he's making a youtube video and wh what is this channel is about in general so i would like to make or my plan is to make like a youtube uh, channel for business informatics because i am like interested really really much in interested in informatics in general i'm not a good programmer i uh, i would say like I would say like a little bit I'm like one step below entry level programming. I don't have any special degree like no no bachelor of informatics or something like this. But I'm about to study in a few months here in Berlin business informatics and I thought it would be like really interesting to take people on a journey with me together who also are interested in, in, in informatics or who are interested in business informatics or who are interested in uh, software developing, web design, all kind of stuff like everything what has to do with code and yeah so I think it's gonna be an interesting journey to take you guys with me and so to be honest I have like no idea how I should create this YouTube channel I have no even right now I don't have any ideas um, what kind of videos I'm about to do the next time but this is quite cool for me because I can take my time to be more creative and yeah to find out what is interesting for my audience so I have to make I think like at least I don't know like hundreds of videos uh, to find out what kind of people like are interested in in this kind of videos i hope you understand me and yeah but i believe in something and i believe in let's say in progress so i believe like if you do something like 100 times or let's say if you do something 1000 times and maybe a little bit more it depends on what you're doing and how big your goals are that you, you just have to be from this 1000 times let's say one time like really successful and the more often you do something the bigger are the chances that you are about to receive this success and if you have this success like from this 1000 times you're doing something you will generate you will like in general be successful in everything like you're doing in the special field i hope you understand what i mean yeah so <laughs> So yeah, like uh, yeah, I think this was my message. I think this was my first um, video, and yeah, oh yeah, I forgot to tell something. Uh, like, what is my background? So, like, one important thing: what is my background? Why I'm interesting to do business informatics? Um, like, I have a medical technical background, not like on an academic level. I just learned this kind of work, like every other people who work like l learn like I work in a hospital who are not directly doctors so I'm just a normal guy who work in a hospital and, and do his work you know uh, but I started like one year ago with web design because I wanted to create my own little side hustle and 
everybody was talking about do web design it's easy like you can just uh, may you just have to use WordPress and then you can sell this website for thousands of euros which is unfortunately also true but I also learned how to code a website of course I know like small basics in HTML CSS JavaScript I also started to learn Python I don't even know wh why I have started with Python because I didn't had any big goals with Python but it was quite fun to me to learn this kind of language so I thought like if I have this interest so why I shouldn't study it and luckily the studying costs in Germany are pretty 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 cheap and the German state is also interested to support people who want to study so you, you get like government like how do, how do we call it like national welfare or social welfare for students like you get like your money for your room for your food you don't have to pay any cost for like for the university so that is the reason why the studying in Germany is um, really really cheap and I thought like why I shouldn't take this chance to go one step more professional and yeah I know like because I have also friends who are working or who are studying informatics like basic informatics and they all tell me like you know what you don't have to go to university you just can learn like from online courses it's not about the degree it's about your skills which is true for programmers for example because you can create your, like your own portfolio you can show like what kind of apps websites other software you have developed and you can succeed with this kind of work but unfortunately and this is unfortunately I think for Germany that it is not so easy to work as a programmer if you don't have any degree and so I thought like my future is gonna be like in business informatics it's like about money and on the other side is also about informatics so it's gonna be like a really interesting journey yeah I think I talk I have talked too long so uh, yeah thank you for watching and uh, yeah let's see what kind of video I'm doing the next time peace